I became a monk in Dubai. Not a Shaolin fighting monk. Not the detective monk. Neither a spiritual old monk. In the harsh desert, I wandered lonely for years. Here I found the oasis of life, where my third eye opened and the secrets of the universe were revealed to me. I became mystic of never-ending knowing monk. Stop! So let me clarify what I'm saying. Well, I experienced living a monastic life for 10 days. 10 days I experienced how possibly a monk lives. When you look at this, firstly you're off the grid. That means no communication with anyone through emails, through writing, through internet, no internet access, no phone, no mobiles, mobiles, nothing. You're not allowed to read, you're not allowed to write, you just meditate. That's all you do. That's one thing. The other thing which happens is for those 10 days where you are living a monastic life, you wake up 4 o'clock in the morning and you finish 9 o'clock at night. So 4 o'clock you wake up, you get to the meditation hall, you do your meditation, you have a short break, back to meditation, short break, back to meditation. This goes on till 9 o'clock in the evening, 9.30, lights shut down. One of the things which happens during this time is you're not allowed to talk to anyone, to your fellow monks, to the people who are providing this service to us. And that all is extremely tough. Furthermore, for those hours which you're meditating, you are sitting in one posture, idly, uh, cross-legged, uh, like the lotus uh, uh, posture. So that's what you're doing. The simple lotus posture, that's what you're sitting in. And even the most healthy person finds it very difficult. They find it so tough that you therefore you can barely sit there in the beginning or maybe a couple of minutes. So that's one part of it. This meditation is called Vipassana or Vipassana. What this means is seeing reality as it is. Not what you want it to be, how it should be, how it should have been, how it is. And this is an ancient, ancient meditation technique from India, extremely powerful. There's a simple concept in with this which means respiration and sensation. Those are the two things which you focus on. So that's a brief of what Vipassana is. I'll give you the details on how to connect with this organization. Now the beauty is, and this is really amazing, you pay nothing for it, nothing whatsoever. It is up to you at the end of the 10 days if you want to donate. And there is no compulsion to donate. They don't force you to donate. It is entirely up to you, whatever is possible for you to donate. And if you can't, it's perfectly fine. They appreciate your gratitude. Now there's three things, three things which I learned from this. The first thing which I have learned is impermanence. Nothing stays the same. Look at us. We don't stay the same. Our relationships don't stay the same. Our uh, values, our priorities, they change as we go on. So everything changes. The second thing which I learned was that we have this amazing uh, habit of either craving or aversion and this causes us pain or pleasure and because of this pain or pleasure we find it very difficult to manage difficult situations so like I said 
everything, everything which we look at it, it's from a craving perspective or an aversion perspective and we live in a bubble of ignorance. Now, the third thing which I learned was no matter what the situation, you learn to stay calm and composed psychologically, emotionally, physically and that's literally being in the present moment and it's extremely tough even those 10 days were extremely tough to achieve that yet there were moments where you were able to achieve it and it was beautiful what needs to be done is in order to continue that is to apply that into your life on a day-to-day -day basis coming back to real life how you run your day-to-day -day existence and like I said Vipassana or Vipassana is about respiration sensation those are the two things which you focus on that's it those are the two things which you focus and you let it flow naturally no forcing it that's the beauty you're not meant to force it just let it be see things as they are see reality as it is at the end of the video you will see the contact details of or the website of uh, dhamma.org where you can connect to people on how you can attend the 10-day course I will strongly recommend it to people so please go ahead and do your own research before committing yourself because those 10 days is requires a lot of commitment a lot of discipline from you and the people are extremely compassionate in helping you through those 10 days in order for you to meditate like a monk. Uh, thank you. Peace be with you. Amor Fatih.